Hi, this is Miss Carrie, and I'm going to read one of my favorite stories, made by Maxine. Meet Maxine. She likes making new things from old things. She deconstructs and reconstructs, unscrews and reglues. Maxine makes everything better. Well, mostly. Oops. Meet Milton. From the day Maxine spotted him in the pet shop window, she was hooked. His scales shimmered, his fins fluttered. Was he waving to her? Since he was a fish, it was hard to tell. Maxine fell in love with Milton. He was a special fish and deserved a better home than this boring glass bowl. If I can dream it, I can make it, she said. Let's see what she does. And then she did. First, she tinkered with some old toys. Look, she used things she doesn't play with anymore and combined them to create a spectacular fish tank for Milton. He's so happy, he says, Kawabunga! Look at this. Oh, he's even got a volleyball court. Next, she repurposed a broken bike and made a pedal powered fish feeder. Milton says, really delicious. For a final touch, Maxine repurposed some vegetables and made music. Being a fish, Milton wasn't much of a dancer, but he wiggled his fins to the beat and practiced his slick moves. Ooh, look, he has a disco ball. He's saying, that's a catchy tune. One day at school, Miss McMiller made an exciting announcement. This week, we'll have a class pet parade, she said. We'll meet on the playground after school and then march around the building. If you don't have a pet at home, you may borrow one from our classroom. They have bunnies, hamsters, a bird, and a turtle. I'll bring Mittens my kitten. I'll bring Felix my ferret. I'll bring Milton my goldfish, said Maxine. What? It's a pet parade, not a wet parade. A goldfish can't march. It doesn't have feet. Well, Milton is a very special fish, she replied. You'll see. At home, Maxine told Milton about the pet parade, and he bubbled with excitement. Being a fish, he didn't get out much. It's okay if you don't have feet, Maxine said. Fins are perfectly fine. Nope, they're better than fine. They're fabulous. But Milton's spectacular tank, uh-oh, was also spectacularly heavy. I don't know if she'll be able to take that in the parade. Maxine moved Milton to his old bowl. It was boring, but it really was easier to carry. This is only temporary, she reassured him. Then they practiced marching. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Surf's up? Oh, I feel seasick, Milton said. Maxine's enthusiasm was dampened, along with her sneakers. Oops. We need to make this bowl better, said Maxine. She collected containers from all around the house. She has a soap dispenser, old mugs, an old piggy bank, things that nobody was using anymore. Maxine fitted and filled, fixed and fiddled. Look, she's tinkering with all these things. Uh-oh, her plan failed. That means it didn't work. Oh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. Maybe I should just borrow the class hamster instead. <gasps> Uh-oh, was Milton crying? Since he was a fish, it was very hard to tell in the water bowl. As the big day approached, the pet parade was all anyone could talk about. I brushed mittens so she is extra fluffy. I made Felix a sparkly collar. Oh, look, Maxine isn't feeling very happy. Look at her face. Maxine thought about Milton with his shimmering scales and fluttery fins. 
He was beautiful and funny and smart and talented. He was her friend. Sorry, hamster. I gotta march with Milton. After school, Maxine picked up her pencils and paper and she planned her project. So she's drawing out her plan of what she wants to create for Milton in the parade. She'd already discovered a million ways that would not work, which meant she was getting even closer to finding out the one way that would. She never gave up. She repurposed a race car, upcycled an umbrella, and reprogrammed an old remote. All afternoon, she deconstructed and reconstructed, unscrewed and re-glued. Looks like she's getting a plan. She tinkered and hacked, bent parts forward and back. Maxine made a music playing, fin wiggling, wave sensing, wheel spinning, dance powered. <gasps> Fantastic, fantabulous, incredible Fishmobile pet parade float. Look what she made. Look, she took old things in her house and made a pet parade float. So cool. Oh, she went to school and she said, Meet Milton, said Maxine, my very special fish. Uh, he's dancing and driving. Watch your feet coming through, Milton said. Miss McMiller complimented Milton on being the best behaved pet of all. Was he blushing? <gasps> Since he was a fish, it was hard to tell. So she complimented Maxine on finding a way to include Milton in the pet parade. If I can dream it, I can make it, Maxine said. And that's exactly what she did. The end.